Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we're doing my wish list slash predictions for Collecte's 2021 prehistoric range, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Casual Spino Dino. It's been ages. When was the last episode we did one of these? Well, anyway, now the reason why I'm doing Collect Day first for my predictions is that I saw a comment from Everything Dinosaur in one of their videos addressing that they're going to be announcing the first of Collect Day's 2021 models quite soon, like within a couple to a few weeks. So I thought it was about time to do one of these and get my wishes slash predictions out there. All right, so let's just get started here. Oh, before we get started, I want you guys to let me know yours in the comments down below, and once the range is out, then perhaps we'll do a video sort of comparing everyone's comments and seeing who was right and who was wrong. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, so number five for me. My original choice was kind of cheating, I guess? So I'm gonna be picking two for number five here. But my original choice was Xyphactinus, and the reason why I think this is kind of cheating is because everything Dinosaur posted on their Facebook page asking everyone who follows them if they should ask Collecte to produce a scale model of Xyphactinus for 2021. Now there's no guarantee that they're going to produce one, but I personally think that since that influence is there from everything Dinosaur and everyone is very positive towards it, there's definitely more of a chance with everything Dinosaur's influence for getting that figure, so. Anyway, scale model of Xyphactinus, at long last, if we do get that one, which it seems like it's quite likely because a lot of people really want it, including myself, Xyphactinus was an awesome prehistoric fish, and we have, like, literally no figures of it out there. So if they make one, that would, that would be amazing, and if they try to give it an articulated jaw, that might be cool as well, but with just Cyphactinus's overall face structure, it might be a little bit difficult. But anyway, my other pick for the number five spot is going to be a scale model of Lead Zichthys. Give us a huge Lead Zichthys collector. That would be so, so cool. Lead Zichthys was awesome. And they actually produced a prehistoric marine life tube a couple years ago with a bunch of minifigures, and there was a Zyphactinus and Lead Zichthys in there. And Lead Zichthys, if I remember correctly, had a pretty cool color scheme. Like, it was mostly just this glossy black, which I think would be really cool, with maybe some dark brown tones brought in on the underside or something. I think that would be awesome. So anyway, my number five is kind of a tie there between two prehistoric fish. We've got the Xyphactinus and Lead Sickthys. But moving on to number four, we have Suchomimus. Now I think I've been asking for this one for the past couple years in my predictions. And that's mainly because I just want an awesome, new deluxe figure of Suchomimus. Suchomimus is my second favorite Spinosaur, and there are a couple figures of it out there, but they're just not great. To be fair, Collecte did make a Baryonyx for 2019 and this year 2020. I didn't really like either of those, and a lot of people I've seen were quite critical of some of the quality control and other issues that the figure had, or figures I should say, including the 2020 one. But perhaps Collecte can sort of take that constructive criticism and apply it to an awesome new Spinosaur, which I think it would be so cool to get a Suchomimus, please. If it's not Collecte, somebody give me a cool Suchomimus, a big one. So anyway, that's my number four pick. My number three pick is a new addition to Collecte's Supreme Class Pterosaur series. The huge pterosaurs they've been producing for several years now. Now Collecte seems to like to go for obscure species when they make this series, but they do have the Dimorphodon, which is a fan favorite figure in the community. They have the Guadraco, Kaiwajara, Dimorphodon, and then they just added the Kaviramas, which has not been released as of this video going out yet. But my prediction for a new addition to the range is going to be Rampharynchus, actually. Rampharynchus is one of those very well-known pterosaurs that just kind of fallen out of the collecting community because there's just not a lot of figures of it. Actually, I don't, are there any figures of it? Yeah, there are, there's a, there's a couple, I think. But a deluxe one to put up with the Dimorphodon and all that would just be so cool. Ramparinkus had a very unique head structure, as we know, and all of the Supreme Class Series pterosaurs seem to be going for very unique overall head looks and designs as far as pterosaurs go, so 
Ramphorhynchus is my prediction for number three for the Supreme Series. My number two spot goes to Spinosaurus. Now, I'm not just asking for another Spinosaurus because we just got a ton of Spinosaurus figures in 2019. 2019 was literally the year of the Spinosaurus. I think Collecte was the only one that didn't make one that year. But as we know, Collecte love jumping on new discoveries, new species that have been unearthed, etc. And now would be an optimal time for them to update their deluxe Spinosaurus, because as we know, the new tail fluke has been found for Spino. And regardless of the arguments against it, I would love to see a deluxe swimming Spinosaurus figure with the new tail paddle, updated sculpt overall. I just do not like the previous deluxe Spinosaurus from Collecte, particularly the coloration just does not sit well with me. I do not like it. But anyway, that's my number two spot. New Spinosaurus based on the new discovery, I think would be awesome. My number one spot is a new Dilophosaurus. As we know, Dilophosaurus got kind of sort of a makeover. I was sort of on the hype train when I saw the news articles coming out and the new depictions of Dilophosaurus in art and everything. I even jumped on the bandwagon and made my own art for it, as you can see on screen, but it actually wasn't until I finished making my own depiction of the animal in art form, I realized that this discovery is a little bit overhyped in my opinion. I mean, sure, it's thought that Dilophosaurus was a little more bulky and muscular than we thought originally, but it basically is just concluded that we don't know exactly what the crest shape for the animal was, and I mean, the head shape has been reconstructed slightly differently, but that's pretty much it. Regardless, I think that would be an optimal time for Collected to jump on making a brand new Dilophosaurus, and I would be so down for a new deluxe Dilophosaurus, make it a little more bulky, give it a really cool crest design, because we obviously don't know the exact shaping that the crests could have been now. And I will be so down to pick that one up. Dilophosaurus is one of my absolute favorite theropods, and there really are no figures of it out on the market that really appeal to me. I mean, the Papa one is my favorite one, and that one has problems, which we'll save for a, a revisit to that figure in a review. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for my top five prediction list for Collect Day 2020. Let me know what your list is down in the comments below. Just for a quick recap, for mine, we have a tie for five, Cyphactidus and Leedzichthys. Number four, Sukumimus. Number three, Ramphorhynchus Supreme Series. Number two, Spinosaurus, updated 2020. And number one, Dilophosaurus, updated 2020. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the sort of rebirth of Casual Spino Dino. I'm going to try to bring one of these back once a week perhaps so keep your eyes peeled maybe make it a midweek wednesday video to separate the monday and friday reviews that will come out but anyway let me know what you think let me know if you have any more suggestions for this series as well i hope you have enjoyed leave a like if you liked thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video so take care and bye bye